I feel paralyzed Yo, 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 it's TAC51273 in the house, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Let's Play Survival. We are all the way up to episode 42 today, and um, I am really looking forward to this episode, actually, because I have decided that we're going to take a break from um, working on our secret base down there, and today we're going to do some crafting. In case you haven't worked out what we're doing today, we are going to be making a compass put the compass in there and we are going to be making an empty map now what i plan to do today is go and explore some of the terrain around us so let's open our map boom there we go look at that this is it's already made up for us i don't know why it's already made up for us but it is i wish it was zoomed out a bit more, if you know what I mean. So, um, I've started opening, uh, we started playing Minecraft in 1.7.9 now. Um, we used to be playing it in 1.0, oh, 1.7.9, 1 sorry. Um, uh, we used to play on 1.9? Uh, 1.7.4, I believe. Um, but I have begun playing on 1.7.9, and let's see, what did I come back to? Get another map, we need to make another map, so, uh, get some more out of there, one more of these, and then we need to get some paper, just in there. Alright, there we go, we got everything we need for another map. What if... Yeah, we're getting 30 FPS, so I don't think we even need Optifine anymore. I used to use Optifine, but my FPS is high enough for record at 30 FPS, if you didn't know that already. And, uh, yeah, so everything is fine. I want to know, can you change the scaling or something? I don't know. Let's not open that just yet, because we need to go outside of the border. Let's actually keep our map in our inventory. Um, should we explore this direction? No, I want to go to the left a bit. This way. But I do want to know. Um, actually I might quickly go check up and see if you can change the scale at which your map is. But I don't think you can. I mean, I'm not very experienced when it comes to using maps, but um, yeah, I wish you could change the way it works. So, I think what I might do is I might just go and check that out and see if you can actually do that. So, I will be right back in a few seconds. All right, guys, I am back, and I have discovered a way to make things work better for us. So, I'm just gonna quickly run back to our house because. Um, this is kind of cool, so I want to get this. Um, I found a way to do it, and then we will be on our way adventuring, searching around the outer borders. So, I'm gonna make the biggest map you can possibly make. I believe it's four different steps. So, pretty much, what you gotta do is you have your map, which you put in the center of a craft in your of your crafting table, and around that map, well, in this case, this map, which is a one-to-one -one scale. You surround it with paper, so it's like making a second map, except slightly different, if you know what I mean. It's hard to explain what I mean, but... Yeah, so I'm going to quickly go grab some paper. And then let's try and make this as big as we can, so... Here you go. Map scaling at one to one. That shouldn't be happening. It should be a bigger scale, unless it needs to be an empty map. No, that should be working. I don't know why it's not working. Scaling it one to one. Scaling it one to one. So. Hmm, I'm confused. Okay, I'm gonna leave, I apologize, yet again, and have a look 
quickly see if I could get it to work. Alright, I'm back. It was simply just that I actually needed to click it, so I was doing it right. Let's quickly have a look at this, see the bigger scale. Alright, so there we go, that gives us a lot more space, but um, I'm going to do it again because I want to get it huge ones. So let's quickly redo this again. There we go. That should have fixed it. Unless you're supposed to... I don't know what happened there. That should have... That should have fixed things. Fixed things, I should say. Sorry. What? Don't tell me I just got scammed by the game. I'm gonna go grab a whole lot of sh reeds and stuff. And I'll take it with me. That should have... Yeah, I'll take it with me so that once I run out of space, I can, um... I'm sure I have a craft, spare crafting table around here somewhere. Okay, I guess not. Uh, there we go, that's all I need for a crafting table. But I'm going to take a whole bunch of reeds because... Oh, sugar canes. I don't know why I'm calling them reeds. I'll take all of them. Um, because I want to make another map. Uh, I want to enlarge the map, but I'm thinking that maybe you have to explore the whole thing before you can do it again. <gasps> Pardon me. Oh, goodness, goodness. So I don't know if you can tell, but I am extremely tired right now. Um, but uh, yeah, everything is good, 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 good. We can finally start exploring out a bit further. See, this map isn't very big. This isn't something I want. Alright, so it's read all that bit, let's head down towards this way. And render out some more of this map. Oops. Not exactly looking what I'm doing, but yeah. Alright, there we go. Now let's continue going out this way. Oh, at the top there. Need to render out a bit more over there, so. Run across the map. Whew. I don't know, that's weird. I don't know why. I'm just gonna try crafting it again. Because that should have fixed these a lot. There's the paper we need. There we go, that fixed it. I don't think you can shift click, I think, is the problem. So let's enlarge it yet again. Three to four. Tiny little area. And then I will enlarge it yet again. There we go. Now we've got enough paper. And the final one. There we go. Huge map now. Ginormous map. We can go exploring. But I guess we're going to have to wait till the morning for that because it is now night time and I don't want to get killed by mobs and I shouldn't be on hard, I should be on normal difficulty. I was having a little me uh, mess around with um, a bit of UHC so I had it on hard difficulty. Um, UHC, for those of you that don't know what it is, ultra hardcore. Um, I did a little ultra hardcore series with a few of my friends um, a while ago and uh, yeah. So let's head back to the house, probably spend about, probably go one day of exploring tomorrow, um, and then I'll probably end the episode, but I guess maybe if you guys like it, drop a comment, let me know, and I'll do it again in the next episode. Um, 
We won't need to spend a whole lot of time at the beginning dilly dallying about um getting everything sorted out. There we go, that's lead this room to route it where we are. I think this one is about scaled from one to sixteen, so every one pixel is sixteen blocks or something like that. Somewhere along those lines, at least. Alright, let's go take a nap. Actually, I'm almost out of food, so I'm gonna quickly grab some more food before we start exploring. And I can, I just realized I can actually put my stuff away, put my um, reeds, sugar canes away. Don't need those anymore. Um, take steak, actually. Yep. I actually really want to get some carrots, so I'm hoping maybe we'll run into another um, NPC village. I don't know, when I found that NPC village, I can't remember where I found it, it was ages ago, um, for my village of breeding farm. I don't know why I didn't grab any carrots and potatoes from there, because then I could have started up a farm all the way back home, but obviously intelligence is one of, isn't one of my strong points. <laughs> or maybe not intelligence, but... Uh, maybe, what's the word you could say? Um, general, no. Ugh, don't worry. Pew. Ooh, that hit. Ooh, XP for the win. Come on. Thank you. Have I got... What affinity? No wonder I was breathing. I wasn't breathing, but I could breathe a lot better. So pretty much, what I want to do is I want to explore right out to the borders of this map, uh, which would be kind of cool because I'm really keen to find some exciting stuff along the way. Hopefully, um, because I was, I was spending a bit of time um, playing because I've, I've just been at a friend's house and. We spent a bit of time playing um, Minecraft Xbox Edition, so, um, and we found that, I don't know if it's just we were lucky, but we seem to, um, there seems to be like, uh, what are they called, wells that you find randomly throughout the uh, world, like throughout the deserts, just a random well, and we found that if you dig down from the desert, you actually find some pretty interesting stuff. So... Yeah, that's pretty cool, exciting stuff. Cool. That, <laughs> that took a while for the terrain to render out. It's not too much further actually till the border. Then we can start doing the outsides and then we'll fill in the insides later on. So, I'm probably just going to run around the outside of the border. Um, Alright, so... Thank you guys so much for voting for um, for those of you who did on my intro contest where I asked you guys to vote for your favourite intro. Um, and the voters that pretty much nobody actually voted to keep the old intro, which is kind of sad. Sorry Knuckles. Oh well, he doesn't watch my videos anyway, so. It's a, ooh, cave. Surface iron. But we got plenty of iron. Uh, oh. No, no, we're not going into it. Okay, so we're going to continue following this. Um, oh, swamps, I don't like swamps. Too much of the water, bro. But then again, if it was UHC, I'd be very happy because swamps are cool in UHC. But not normal Minecraft. Not at all, not at all. Not at all. Looks like there could actually be a fairly big cave system, but no matter, we shall press on. So many animals out here. Okay. Um, let's try and stick to the land as much as we can, because I don't like going through the water. Um, you're getting a few lag spikes at the moment. I don't know what that's all about, but 
shouldn't be having too many lag spikes because I've capped off my FPS at 30, so everything should be going fine. I'm going to chop down a tree and make myself a boat. So I'm not swimming at all. Alright. <clears throat> One of them. There we go. Oh, can't forget you. Alrighty, now we can start heading along on our journey. Um, Alright. Almost hit the border, actually. And, um... Is it lightning glitches down there? That often signifies, in case you didn't know, um, lightning glitches often signify a uh, a little. What are those caves called? Abandoned mine shaft. Often signify an abandoned mine shaft. So that's why I was asking if that was a lightning glitch. Oh, a dark forest. It's quite nifty to know that this is here. What happened to all my wooden sticks? Oh, seriously, another swamp biome? <sighs> Dark forest, I don't mind, because it's land. Um, the trees are thick, but it's okay. I'd rather go through thick forest than water by foot. Oh, finish that. Gonna have to get up my 64 stick. Hello, cows. How are you doing on this fine morning? Do you like living out here? F such a far way away from my house. My house. Okay, okay. Hey, I just realized that's one of the new biomes, so. Um, because we made this world um, in 1.6, I believe. 1.5. 1.5. It would have been 1.5. Um, and so we didn't have any of the new biomes. So I just realized, hey, this is one of the new biomes. And which means we haven't been to this place at all before. Actually, yeah, that's kind of obvious. But I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't, I don't know. I don't, know. don't even ask. Don't. Even ask. Okay, we're gonna try to do some parkour. Some hardcore. Okay, we failed the parkour already. Is it almost night time? Probably is. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay, this is really annoying trying to do parkour with the map open, so I'm gonna go. Recording some data. I'm feeling like a. What's his name? Captain Cook. I don't think I can make it. Nope. I feel like Captain Cook. For those of you who don't know who Captain Cook is, he is the founder of my country. Well, not really the founder, just... He's one of the... He's the British that found the country, pretty much. The British man. There was others. But, um, prior to him, but they, they ran away because they were scared of the native people here. Um, who... You may or may not have heard of, uh, but they're called the Māori. And they were afraid because, um, I'm talking about a man called Abel Tasman, who was Dutch, who came to New Zealand and was scared away by the Māori because, um, they came, they came to New Zealand, which is where I live, at the wrong time. They came during the, um, war season, which is when, um, pretty much all the tribes battle it out for country. They have a peaceful season as well, where they don't fight, but, um, they came during the war season and Abel Tasman's crew blew a horn um, as a greeting horn, but the Māori didn't know it to be that since it was the um, since it was the war season. 
they thought that they were coming to try and invade their land and the Maori decided that they were going to attack them when the English were just being peaceful but um, you can't blame them that's the way that they're that's the way that they're um, they live that's their yeah that was the way that they worked so Abel Tasman didn't get the they, uh, he ran away because some of his crew uh, were attacked and the Māori, the only Māori were cannibals, so they ate the crew members that they managed to collect, get, um, and killed them and ate them, so that's the way they worked um, later on. Uh, so from that, Abel Tasman's crew wrote, uh, bad things about, uh, wrote bad things about New Zealand, so pretty much scared every way, scared everyone away from the country and nobody came back for another about 200 years or so until Captain Cook decided actually no, I think there was there was another explorer who came prior to that um, who decided but Captain Cook was the one who actually colonized New Zealand and whatnot uh, found it and started bringing settlers over to New Zealand told everyone that hey no it's actually not that bad um, yeah so came back and he's the one who found it I guess you could say and Cool, cool, cool. Um, people, that's when the settlers from Britain, uh, England, started coming along. And the Māori, uh, that's when the treaty became existent. Um, the Treaty of Waitangi is what it's called, which is pretty much a treaty between the native New Zealand Māori um, with the Queen of England. Um, so officially say that, well, it was a bit, it was a bit dodgy because, um, on the Eng the English version has to be translated into Maori. The English version said that that um, the Queen would have sovereignty over the Maori, pretty much having complete power over them. Whereas in the Maori version, the translator knew that was <gasps> horses. Okay, we need to remember this spot. Um. Anyways, um. So the Maori uh believed that uh they. It was just going to be governed by them, if you know what I mean. Govern, so pretty much they were going to have a governor, but they were still going to be the chiefs of the tribes. Were still going to be the chiefs of their tribes. They wouldn't lose their mana, which is power, pretty much. But they could. It, it was called mana. That they wouldn't lose their mana, but they did because they signed. Most of them signed the treaty. Not all of them, but most of them signed the treaty because they didn't. Because it wasn't done properly, they didn't translate it properly because he knew that if he put sovereignty in that none of the chiefs would have signed so he was sneaky about it and so technically they didn't sign the treaty that said that she had permission to do that but um yeah there was a lot more than just that so anyways oh the mobs are starting to spawn everywhere here and I'm gonna get pwned by this creeper Alright, oh, this is actually really nice planes. Anyways, what I was trying to say is I'm trying to bring this episode to an end because it is going over time. I'm just getting carried away about talking about Māori. So if you want me to keep talking about the Māori, if you find this interesting, which I highly doubt you do because it's history and, you know, you're all out of school and stuff, let me know down in the comments anyway. Um, but also, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want me to do this during the next episode. If you do, I... Um, I will do it during the next episode, I'll do more exploration. If you don't, I'll do all the exploration off camera because there is a lot to be done, so Yeah, it's all up to you. it's all up to you guys. Do you want me to do it on camera? Do you want me to do it off camera or what? So Let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Be sure to drop a like. Um I really hope you've enjoyed. And as always Peace out. Wah! I feel paralyzed